You, the team certainly had things going tonight. 14 runs. Michael Rucker was looked like unstoppable tonight. Your overall thoughts on this one? Uh, man, I was just mesmerized by Mike tonight. He was. It, I think it was the best performance I've seen from a BYU pitcher, and that's including Colton Mahoney's no hitter. Um, it was just. It was unbelievable. 93, 95, throwing three pitches for strikes. He was. He was just dominant. And uh, after the first two batters today. Our, our first Brennan Lund and Hayden Nielsen striking out. I thought, oh, this is going to be this is going to be a you know a tight game, and then all of a sudden we explode. And uh, so I was really happy with we played defense and and uh, and hit it and played ca played catch. And I mean, we just and Mike Rucker was unbelievable. So perfect night. To your point, I believe at one point you had nine runs, but of those nine runs, I think your your three, four, five, and six hitters had combined for eight RBIs. What was it about that middle of the of the lineup tonight? It's just, I think it's what we talk about all the time. It's someone different every single night. It's someone different. I mean, you know, like Favero tonight just kind of turns on a ball and hits it about 420 after taking a couple couple poor swings. Uh, it's it just uh, tomorrow night it could be seven, eight, nine. You know, it's just it's just someone someone different every night, and that's what makes this team special. I know you were able to get a lot of guys in tonight and get playing time. Not only did they get in, but they actually produced. That's got to be nice to see those guys come in and, and be able to make some progress like that. Yeah, you know, at the end we have seven freshmen on the field, and it's and it's nice just to get those guys on the field during a game under the lights with cameras rolling, and uh, just a it's a different feel than inter squad. So now they know what it feels like, and and uh, thankfully we had a nice lead where we a cushion where we felt comfortable putting them in and. Really, you know, I all those guys that came in, all those freshmen, they're very, very talented. And if someone goes down, we have no problem. We talk about the depth. We have no problem filling in with guys, and and not missing a step. How good does twelve and one feel? Uh, feels great. I mean, and we're trying not to look at it in that, you know, in that vein. We're just. I, I told them the only thing that can hurt us right now is being complacent, um, and and look overlooking somebody. And Niagara's going to come back tomorrow. They've got tough kids uh, from. You know, the Northeast and Canada, they're, they're not going to back down tomorrow. They don't care that they just got beat 14-1. So we need to play it game by game, inning by inning, out by out, and just, just break it down like that and, and play hard, as hard as they're going to play tomorrow.